Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you how to answer question number one, number two, number three, and number four. So now I will show you the step by step. The first thing we need to do about the journal entries. So for the first one, we have number one in here. So, for number one, we put in here about the date that is about March number one, two thousand twenty-one. So, issue one thousand one hundred shares of common stock for forty-two per share. So, in this case. We need to know they will have about cash and then we have common stock. And the next one that is about additional paid in capital. So we know that the price of one common stock that is about 0 0.01. And we have total 1,100 shares. So that means the value of this one, we have 1,100. We multiply by 0 0.01. And this one, we have 11. About the cash, we issue about this value in here. So we have 42 multiplied by 1,100 and this one we have about 46,000 46,200 so after we have this one we minus about 11 and you will have 46,189 and this is for the first one in here now we go to the second one that is about number two so we see that this is about May 15 2021 so they purchased they purchased 400 shares of treasury stock for 35 US dollars per share. So we just use 35 multiplied by 400. And that is about treasury stock. And then we have cash. So this one, we have 35 multiply by 400 so we have the value in here now let's go to the next one so we have number three and this one that is about July number 10, 2021. So we sell 200 shares of treasury stock because we resell that means we reduce about treasury stock. And then we have additional pay in capital. And then we have cash. So we know that on May 15, the treasury stock, we have 35, but we resell for 40. So that means we have 40. We multiply by 200. 
and this one we have 8,000. So about this one, original we have 35 in here. So we calculate and that is about 7,000. So we put 8,000 minus 7,000, we have 1,000. And this is for number 3. Now we go to number 4. So number 4, that is about October 15. So this one, we issue 200 share of refer stock. And that's about 45 US dollars per share. So in this case, we do the same with number one, but we change this one into refer stock. So we know that there are 200 share of refer stock and that is about 45. So in this one, we got 9,000. However, the price of refer stock at the beginning, that is about one. So we have 200 in here, 9,000 minus 200, we have 8,800. Now we go to number 5, that is about December 1st. So in this one, that is about the clear or cash dividend. So in this case, we have dividends and dividends payable. So to answer about this one, we need to know that the cash dividend they want to pay the same for common stock and refer stock at the price 0 0.5 but we need to minus about the treasury stock so in this case we need to highlight this number in here 300 share of refer stock 4000 share of common stock 1100 share of common stock 400 share of treasury stock we sell 200 share of treasury stock and the last one 200 share of refer stock so in this case we need to find the total stock minus about treasury stock so we have two we have 300 plus 4000 plus 1,100 because we purchased 400 share of treasury stock that means the common stock that we convert to treasury stock so we need to minus about 400 later that we resell that means that we will convert treasury stock into common stock we plus about 200 and the last one we have 200 now we zoom on the numbers in here and we have 5400 after we have this number in here we multiply by 0 0.5 and that is about 2700 The next one, that is about number six. 
So that is the day of declare. So that is about on December 15. For this one, there are there is no journal entry in here. And the last one, we need to pay dividends. So we have dividends payable and we have cash in here. And this is the answer for question number one. Question number two, we know that access equals to liability plus equity. This is the basic formula of accounting. So for the first one, issue of common stock, we can see that we have cash. Cash that is about the asset. We increase this one. So that's about positive. So that means this one they go to positive. This one we purchase treasury stock. So we can see that cash we reduce. That means this one reduce. Resell of this one. So when we resell, we increase the cash. And then we increase about this one. They are in equity. Issue refer stock similar for this one. So about declare cash dividends, that is this one in here. So we know that this one, that is about current liability. They will increase because this is about credit. So this one dividends, that is for equity. So they will reduce, so we have negative. And the last one, we need to pay the cash so that should be minus this one and this one because dividends payable that's a form total liability and this is the answer for question number two now we go to question number three in here so we need to know the balance the balance that should be in here so we have refer stock 300 Common stock forty, additional pay in capital seventy six thousand, retain earnings thirty thousand five hundred. We put four numbers. Go to the first one in here. So we sum four numbers. Go to this one. So we have the final answer. The first one. We need to use the we need to use the information go in here. So the common stock we have eleven. We put number eleven go in here. Additional pay in capital that is about this number in here. So two number we add together. And we have 46,200. The next one, we purchase of treasury stock. That means we know that they will reduce the treasury stock. So that should be about like this. So the next one, we sell of treasury stock. So that means this one in here so we increase about 7,000 treasury stocks and additional pay in capital 1,000 so we put positive 7,000 go in here and 1,000 go in here the next one issue refer stock so we have 200 
we put 200 gold here and this one we put 8800 gold in here and we got 9000 the next one we need to pay the dividends so we put this one go in here because we know that retained earnings they will affect by net income and dividends and withdraw by the owners in here so the net income they just grow by in here so we put 10,800 go in here So after you calculate, they will show the total at the end in here. And the last one, this is so simple. After we have all the numbers in here, we can put refer stock, common stock, additional pay in capital go in here. So the numbers we put 551 and this number in here. So they will show the total in here. So the next one. That is retained earnings and treasury stock. So we put these numbers go in here. And this one go in here. So the final answer should have the same with the value in here this is the end thank you for watching